All right, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. My name is GPJ and today we're going to be playing against the Giants who are in second place behind the Dodgers with the record of 35 and 34. So it should be a good game. And right before we get the game started, here's the starting lineup for the San Francisco Giants for tonight's game. And on the mound for the Dodgers is number 77, Carlos Frias with the record of 1-0, trying to look for a second win here tonight. All right, now moving to the top of the first inning with two outs, Carlos Frias with the pitch. And it is swung on and hit up the middle for a base hit. Jock Peterson's going to come in and field it, and the Giants have a two-out single. So now here's the Giants cleanup hitter, 100 pants, with the runner still at first, and the 0-2 pitch on the way, which is swung on and missed, and down he goes. And Carlos Frias, after giving up a base hit, is able to get out of it here in the first. And here's a quick look at the Dodgers lineup for tonight's game against the Giants, as I put in most of the substitutes for the everyday players. And here's a pitcher on the mound for the San Francisco Giants, number 55, Tim Lincecum, with the record of 4-2 and, and having a pretty good season. Alright, now moving to the bottom of the first inning where Carl Crawford is at the plate with one out. And the pitch is swung on and hit back to the pitcher on the mound. He throws at a first for the second out here in the first. So now with two outs, here's Adrian Gonzalez at the plate with the 2-1 pitch on the way. And it is swung on and hit back to the pitcher. He has to get off the mound. He throws at a first for the final out. Now moving to the top of the second inning where Carlos Frias already has one out trying to get the second. And the first pitch to Crawford is swung on and hit down the right field line. And it'll get down for extra bases. Crawford is rounding first and heading to second. And he's going to be in there easily with the stand-up double here in the second for the Giants. And now with the runner at second and one out, here's Carlos Frias trying to get a strikeout with the 0-2 pitch on the way. And it is swung on and hit into the gap in right center field. No one's going to get there in time. Peterson has to go and field it. The runner at third is being sent home, and the throw to the plate is not in time, and the Giants now lead the Dodgers 1-0. So now following the RBI double, here's Joaquin Arias at the plate with the first pitch on the way, as it is swung on and hit into left field for a base hit, as the Giants now have runners at first and third with one out. So now that the Giants have runners at the corners and another chance to score, here's the L2 pitch, and it is swung on and missed, and down he goes for the second out. And now Carlos Frias is just one strike away from getting out of this second inning jam as a 1-2 pitch is swung on, hit to Gonzalez at first, he steps on the bag for the final out. Now moving to the bottom of the third inning with Scott Van Slyke at the plate with the 1-0 pitch on the way and it is swung on and hit into right field for a base hit as he gets on with a leadoff single here in the third. And now later in the inning with Carlos Frias at the plate as he squares up and bunts one down the first baseline, the third baseman's going to come over and throw him out for the second out here in the third. And with the runner at second, here's for Carl at the plate as the 2-2 pitch is swung on and missed and the Dodgers go down here in the third. And now jumping to the bottom of the fifth inning with the score still the same, Jimmy Rollins at the plate as he swings and it's a high fly ball into deep right field and it'll be gone as Jimmy Rollins has just tied the game with the solo home run. Now moving to the top of the 6th inning with 2 outs and Hunter Pence at the plate as the 1-0 pitch on the way is swung on and it's a high fly ball into deep left field. Crawford going back and it'll be over the wall for a home run as Hunter Pence has just given the Giants the lead 2-1 over the Dodgers here in the 6th. And following the solo home run, here's the next batter, Brandon Belt, as the first pitch is going to be swung on and hit into the left center field gap. Peterson and Crawford chasing after it. Meanwhile, Bell is going to round first, head a second. Peterson throws the ball back in, and Brandon Belt's in there with a stand-up double. And now with the runner at second, with two outs, here's Brandon Crawford once again. As the first pitch is swung on, and it's a high fly ball into deep center field. Peterson going back, makes the catch for the final out here in the sixth. And now moving to the bottom of the sixth inning with Andre Ethier pinch hitting for the pitcher. As he swings and hits a line drive into deep left center field, and it'll get all the way to the wall. Ethier rounds first and hits to second, and he's going to be in there with the leadoff double. And now with Ethier at second, here's the Dodgers shortstop, Rafael for call, as he swings and hits a little dribbler towards the pitcher. He fields it, throws it at first, meanwhile Ether goes to third on the play. And now with one out and a runner at third, here's Carl Crawford at the plate, as he swings and hits one towards the first baseman. He makes a bad throw to the plate, and the Dodgers tie the game 2-2. Two two. Dodgers first baseman Adrian Gonzalez now at the plate. As uh, the first pitch is going to be a strike. Meanwhile, Carl Crawford is going to be thrown out trying to steal second. And now Adrian Gonzalez is at the plate with nobody on and two outs this time as a 1-2 pitch is swung on. And it's a high fly ball into deep left center field. 
and he has just tied the game with his 10th home run of the season and the Dodgers now lead the Giants 3-2. Now moving to the top of the seventh inning with the new pitcher on the mound, Sergio Santos replacing Carlos Frias as the 1-0 pitch is swung on and hit into left field for a base hit as the San Francisco Giants get one on with one out. And now with one on and one out, here's Giants catcher Buster Posey coming off the bench to pinch hit and the 1-0 pitch on the way is swung on and hit to Jimmy Rollins at second. He makes a bad throw and it goes into left field. Crawford has to come and field it and the Giants now have runners at first and second. And thanks to the error, there's runners at first and second now with only one out. Sergio Santos trying to get out of it as the 0-2 pitch on the way is swung on and miss, and down he goes for the second out. And now Sergio Santos is just one out away from getting out of this inning as there are two on with two out, and the pitch is swung on, hit to Jimmy Rollins at second. He throws it up for call for the final out here in the eighth. And now moving to the bottom of the ninth inning where Kelly Jensen is coming out to get the save as the 1-2 pitch on the way. Is swung on and it's a fly ball behind the infield. Jimmy Rollins going back, camping under it, making the catch for the first out. And now with one out, here's the next batter, Casey McGee. Down in the count, no balls, two strike, and the pitch is swung on and missed, and down he goes for the second out. The Dodgers just need one more pitch to beat the San Francisco Giants here at home. Kelly Jensen with the pitch, and it is looked at for strike three as the Dodgers beat the Giants by the score of three to two. And the Giants started this game in second place and they will stay in second place behind the Dodgers. And that'll be it for my sweet 3-2 victory against the Giants. I hope you stayed until the end. If you didn't, you know, that's fine. And like always, subscribe, comment, like, and do all that other cheapy stuff. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.